Welcome everybody. In this class we got a beautiful question. We are expected to find the area of the shaded regions. So the figure has come out well. So this is the requirement. Find the area of this segment. So how are we going to do? All that we have been given is uh, this angle and also we are given AB to be of 6 units. So the length is given and then we are expected to find this region. Okay. Now, foremost, what I wish to do is I would like to draw your observation to ABQ. We see that, let me write that down. We see that A, B, and Q are distinct points on the circle and AB is the diameter. Now from circle theorem this would mean angle AQB is equal to 90 degrees. So AQB will have a 90 degree there. As I mentioned to you, that is from circle theorem. So, let me draw that. So, this angle is 90. Okay, fair enough. Now, this is given angle O is given to be as 30 degrees. Now, let me take that angle O to be as some alpha. I know this alpha is 30 degrees. Now why am I taking it as alpha? I would like to utilize the alpha in generalizing the solution to this question. So that is why. And angle at A, let me take it as theta. So let me take this particular angle as theta. Now angle at A is theta. So this would mean angle at B will be what? This is going to be equal to, this is 90, this is theta. So this is going to be 90 minus theta, right? Fair enough. So we have got this angle. Now, having got that angle, what I wish to do is, I would like to make one more connection. From O, I would like to draw a line to the tangent. So, now this is the diameter. OQ is the diameter. Of course, this line will make an angle of 90 degree with the tangent. I don't need that. I only need to complete this figure. Now, clearly, these are the following observations we make. Clearly, OQ is equal to OB is equal to the radius. Right? So this side is same as this side. Fair enough. Now, this would mean triangle OQB is an isosceles triangle. Now, if you were to drop a, a line from the isosceles, from the head vertex, that line would divide the base into two parts, two equal parts. So that is why I'm drawing it as equal. Now that in turn would mean this is going to be 90 degrees, right? That is a very important observation. Now this in turn would mean 
this is 90 I've taken this is to be angle O angle O to be uh, some alpha and angle at B is equal to 90 minus theta consider triangle O now let me take this as some R let me take this point as some R consider O R B now if you were to consider O R B since the sum of the angles in a triangle is equal to 180 so this would mean angle at O plus angle at B plus angle at R is equal to 180 degrees right angle at O is alpha angle at B 90 minus theta angle at R 90 degree is equal to 180 degree 90 90 180 gets cancelled so alpha minus theta is equal to 0 this means alpha is equal to theta this means uh, since alpha is equal to 30 degrees this would mean theta will also be equal to 90 degrees so this in turn would mean aq is parallel to op aq this thing is parallel to OP. Now this is a very important result. We are not using this result now, but we are using the value that we have got as we had progressed to get this result. Okay, so we are using one of the outcomes that we had obtained when we embarked on this process. So that is a very important observation. Now we have got that. Now what I wish to do is I would like to consider let me draw this line off. Now consider this triangle. Consider triangle A Q O. That's exactly what I'm going to be drawing. Okay, this is the triangle. So this is A, this is Q, this is O. Now I'm going to name this AO to be as A, this to be as B, this to be as C, and this angle to be as theta. Now we have got theta. Theta is 30 degrees. Okay, now I'm going to use cosine law. Using you can say it as cosine law or cosine rule we get so what do we get I'm going to use say starting with the A yeah, this particular side so if I start with this particular side I will have to include this angle which is not uh, wise so if I start with this side and this side I would say if I start uh, I want to include this particular angle so what I will do I will start with this so B squared is equal to A squared plus C squared negative 2 times A into C into cos of the angle between them theta so that is a good way now B is 3 units why B is 3 units AB is 6 units so this is the radius right a b is the diameter so this is 3 squared this is 3 squared i don't know the c and i know this is 2 times 3 times c into cos of 30 degrees because we have found that now 3 squared 3 squared this goes off now this can be written as 6 times of c into cos 30 is equal to c squared right so this C and this C gets cancelled. So C 
divided, I, I can actually get C from here. So this is 6 times of cos 30. Now what is cos 30? Let me... Get the value of cos 30. We know that cos 30 is root 3 over 2. So that would mean c is equal to 6 times cos 30. 6 times root 3 over 2. 2 divides here 3 times. So you have 3 times root 3 is equal to c. So c is equal to 3 times root 3. So you box that result. So I've got the value of c. Now the next is I will have to obtain this region. So that would mean I will have to know the area of this and the area or I would say sector area. So we got to get that. Now this is 30 degrees. Now I already mentioned to you if you were to draw a line from the top vertex that would be dividing this into two equal parts, the base into two equal parts. So that would mean this is an angle bisector. So if this is 30 this will also be 30. So this entire angle is 60. So I want to get this angle. So let me take this angle to be a sum beta. Right? So beta will be equal to from 180 you subtract this angle 60 degrees. So that is going to give you 120. So beta is equal to 120. Now why do I need beta? I want to get the area of the sector. So sector area is equal to theta divided by 360 times pi r squared. Now this is 120 divided by 36 times pi r squared. Now 0, 0 can be cancelled. 12 divides here 3 times. So you have pi over 3. r is 3 units. You multiply by 3 units. 3, 3 gets cancelled giving you 3 pi square units. So what is this? This is sector area right 3 pi square units now I need to get the area of the triangle so let me go to the next page now we need to find the area of A Q O triangle A Q O how do we get that for that, we are going to utilize this Aaron's formula, S into square root of S times S minus A, S minus B, S minus C. And S is equal to A plus A plus B plus C divided by 2, which is equal to A is 3, B is 3, but C value is 3 times root 3. 3 times root 3 divided by 2. So you take 3 out, you get 2 there. You get root 3 there and you get 2 there. Right? So this is what you get. So that's fine. If you want, you can actually get the value of this because we need to use that S. So I'm going to get the approximation for this. So 2 root of 3 is 1.732 divided by 2 so this is going to give me 3 times of 3.732 divided by 2 this is 3 2 are 6 3 3 is a 9 20 1 2 3 3 is a 9 10 11 so divided by 2 is the value but what I will do I will take this to be as 5.6 right so s is equal to 5.6 so that is one part and we need to get s into s minus a so s into s minus a times s minus b into s minus c is equal to 5.6 times 5.6 minus 3 5.6 minus 3 5.6 minus c is 3 into root 3 now this is equal to 5.6 times 5.6, 2.6 will be the value. So 5.6 minus 3 
it's going to be 2.6 2.6 and this one we need to calculate root of 3 multiplied with 3 and then 5 point this is 5.6 minus 5.1 one nine. one nine means I can take it as uh, two zero. So five point six minus five point two zero. Zero point four. So two point six times two point six times zero point four times five point six. So this is equal to two point six times two point six times five point six. So this is the value 15.14. This is this, right? So therefore, the area, the area is going to be root of this. So let me take the square root of 15.14. Okay, that is equal to 3.89. This is the value that we have got. So this is the area of the triangle. Now required area, what is the required area? Required area is area of the sector minus the area of the triangle. So what is the sector area? Sector area we got it as 3 pi. So 3 times pi minus the area of the triangle 3.89. So 3 times pi, so 22 divided by 7, 3.14. I will take 3, okay, 3.14 multiplied by 3. This is 9.42 minus 3.89 minus 3.89 so this value is 5.53 so required area is 5.53 square units so this is the final answer now this is a, a beautiful question which involves many concepts so we have applied uh, quite a number of concepts to get this particular region. Now you might have an alternative technique. Please mention your alternative technique in the comment section. I will give uh, feedback on that. Until we meet again, enjoy your day, like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.